Erica, there is still a very strong police presence outside the Oak Brook Center Mall. Um, you know, most of the night, people have just been waiting. The parking lot has come some, somewhat simmered down. There are fewer cars here, but throughout the night, there's been a sense of uncertainty, especially for those who were inside the mall. Uh, it, no, this mall was busy. Keep in mind that we're talking days before Christmas, and so many shoppers were out. I talked to many of them. Listen as one shopper who was able to get out before the lockdown describes the moment he knew there was something serious going on. I mean, people just started running in and then and then one lady, she came in and I mean, she was completely out of breath and she's like, oh my God, there's a shooter. Like, and then of course we just run because prior to that, we just heard like, like, you know, like kind of like, yes, yeah. Okay. So sound. Yeah. Um, so obviously you know that kind of adds on to it. but at first like you don't think anything of it and then when you see everybody's reaction then you really understand what's going on what's so going and for others they received calls from their loved ones alerting them of the chaos that they were a part of inside the mall now many family members rushed here to oak brook only to wait for the chance to hug their loved one i mean it's nice we literally can see her in there right now and uh um, she's in the blue. She's right in there. the blue, sitting down there. Yep. If you look, there's a young lady in a blue sweater with blonde hair and a black mask on. Is that the one I'm looking That's at? That's her, yep. And what's her name? Uh, Lauren. Driving in, we, I swear, there was 12, 14 cop cars go by. Saw three helicopters. Um, I've never been a part of anything like this. During Christmas time, you, you're going out shopping. You never think something like this is going to happen. Um, unfortunately, it's it's been happening quite a bit. Um, so just hoping they're okay and uh, hoping they got all the shooters. Honestly. Now, after being locked down for several hours, some shoppers here at Oak Brook were able to finally leave. They were originally hiding out in back rooms, areas that they've never seen before. And listen to how they described being in this lockdown process and also getting out. We were really nervous. I mean, it was kind of shocking because we literally walked through Nordstrom and then people were like running behind us and yelling, go, go right now. And then we end up going up in the elevator, which we went downstairs yeah, yeah. where they package everything. They responded really quickly. So that was good. So, yeah, I feel like they handled the situation really well. They didn't do it. They didn't pat us up down, which we were told that that's what they were going to do. But they didn't. They just let us all out at once. So. And right now, we are fully aware that Oak Brook Police, along with other police agencies, they are still trying to get people out of various stores here at Oak Brook Center. But for the most part, we do know, as you pointed out, four people were injured, three innocent bystanders, one person associated with the shooting altogether. And then there was a, it's another individual who had a leg injury. Thankfully, everyone appears to be okay despite what happened but you're going to have a lot of trauma from people just realizing what they were caught up in here tonight erica all right dramont terry thank you